In this week's portion, Shalach Lecha, we learn a very interesting insight as to how leaders and their community work off of each other and how uh, one can influence the other both positively and negatively. This week's portion focuses on the mission that Moses uh, initiates of picking a representative from each tribe to go into the land of Israel to together, the 12 of them, to tour the land for 40 days and come back and report on the on what the land of Israel looks like and how uh, easily or not the people will be able to enter the land and inhabit it and in fact take over it. And so what happens is we, we expect as readers of the Torah and knowing later Jewish history that the Israelites do end up in the land of Israel, we expect the scouts to come back and say, yeah, it's going to be difficult, but we can do it. God's on our side because look at all the great things that God has done for us so far. It won't be a problem. But 10 of the scouts say instead, uh, responding to their own fear because they represent the people of Israel who are fearful in that they needed throughout their time from Egypt to Mount Sinai and now the beginning of their journey they needed signs and wonders from God every single step of the way. They got out of Egypt because of the ten plagues. They crossed the sea because of God uh, separating the water for them. They defeated the Amalekites by God keeping Moses' hands up in the air and therefore the people being victorious. They heard God speak to them at Mount Sinai. They have God's presence hovering over them. They have manna falling from heaven. They have a well of water following them. How could they imagine that they could live on their own without God helping them? And God instead does not provide signs and wonders for these scouts. They, God instead allows the scouts to rely on their own nature and then talk to the people about that. They themselves were scared and the people of Israel were scared. Only two of the scouts, Joshua and Caleb, had that faith in God. But they did not realize that the people of Israel didn't have it. So if they were speaking about, let's express our faith in God by marching forward, they didn't realize that they were speaking to a crowd that was not with them. They weren't there emotionally. They weren't with them to be able to rally around their message. Instead, because of the people's fear, they were able to tap into the fear that the 10 other scouts were talking about. And so leaders today have to understand where the crowd is that they're talking to and use that energy ideally for positive purposes, which the 10 scouts and the people of Israel were not able to do. Shabbat Shalom.